Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Empress Energies, and I'm here to do the love reading for my Pisces. Yes, my water signs, my intuitive signs, my partners in crime. Welcome, 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 welcome back. I would appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos for when I post. If you like a personal reading or donate to the channel or get the scrubs and face masks or and follow my, follow my daughter Artisha Noel. The information will be in the description box below. Check it out. Um, so for this month, we're gonna be working on our for February, we're gonna work on green, our heart chakra. You know, activating that heart chakra so that we can um, attract nothing but, you know, goodness to us. If we vibrate at, you know, with our heart chakra and our aura, aura, aura is cleansed, you know what I'm saying? That heart chakra is vibrating at that high vibration. You're going to attract all the abundance, the love, the care, the patient right towards you. And that's what we're trying to do. You know, change our lives and move forward and be who we are, living in the grace of God. Okay, and of happiness. All right, so let's get into the reading. Just keep that in mind for the month of February. God, so spirit, I ask that you come into me. Let me say your words and not my own so that I can give my Pisces the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Now let's see what's on that popping. <laughs> with my Pisces. All right, so Pisces, first off, before I flip this up, the energy that I'm feeling is very heavy. It feels like that you guys are, you know, needing to take a deep breath and slow things down a bit, all right? Um, meditating will help with that. And speaking your mind as well, because I'm feeling like you have a lot bottled up, all right? So, yeah, just be mindful of that. Let's get into the reading. All right, Seven of Cups. First card out. Okay, with the Pentacles. So right now, you could be feeling a bit confused. That's where that energy coming from. It's a bit heavy because you're confused about this person who just keep on coming towards you, acting like they want you so much, but they really don't. Okay, it's like you're this is you're ready to just really move. You're ready to um you're ready, you know, to stack your your money. You're just in a space of like trying to shine, trying to, you know, be the star for you. And you're just tired of being emotional about a situation that you're over with. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I can't make it up with the will of fortune. It's like this is something spiritual that you're going through right now. And it's divine timing that's trying to creep in and step up, you know, because it's like you're confused, but you got to listen to your intuition because spirit is trying to help you here. You got to let this go. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that's that's keeping you tangled and stuck, Spirit is saying, let it go with the five of ones. It's too much going on, okay? It's too much going on. A lot of arguing and fighting and stuff. And it's like, you know, guard yourself. Guard your energy with an eight of ones. You know, you could be dealing with a fire sign, every Sagittarius or a Leo. And it's like Spirit is saying, let the wheel turn. It's time to get on top of your life. And it's time to trust that God is going to help you. Listen more to your intuitions, Pisces. Because, you know, you're very intuitive. I always say that because, you know, you're a water sign. And I know about that. <laughs> so, like, guard your energy. Stand up for yourself. Don't allow people, places, and things to come in and manipulate you. Because this is what this energy is um ready to do they see you as you know they see you as you know got some money they see you as their stability and it's like they just you know coming in to use you for those things look at that with the king of pentacles you're grounded you're standing in your energy you're you know being you looking good too and they want that they don't want you to shine without them Okay, so they coming in, the Knight of Wands coming in, they want to tell you how much 
they care for you because it ain't about love it's about they can be you know using sex to get back with you you know because they know that you desire the sex but it's like you're looking forward and again and 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 looking towards the future you you got your money and you're working on you know building it and you're not you it's like you're you're turning your back on them you're not all the way gone but it's like you're looking in a different direction and they looking at you trying to figure out how they gonna get to you and get back in good grace with you okay with the star card here it's like give me some information on this Yeah, your person sees you as the star. Like I said earlier, they see you as the star. And it's like they they coming in. They they gonna tell you how much, but they immature. You got the knights, two knights out here in the page. But you the king and you abundant. Okay? And it's like they coming in to interrupt your flow and get a piece of your dollars. So be mindful of that because that's all it's about sex and money with them. They're very kind of materialistic type of energy. They're going to act like they're going to offer you some type of stability. But it, you got enough. You got your own. You got your own. And, you know, it's like your sex is not a big deal to you. It's like you're turning the, your back. Well, you, for what I'm seeing here, sex Okay, you had you could have had issues with the sex with this person because it's like this how this person gets you. You liked it, you loved it, and but now it's like you got control over it a bit, a bit. You hear me saying a bit, but that's all it takes. One step forward, okay. Keep looking on your keep your eyes on the prize, Pisces. Eyes on the prize because they coming in real nice and slick, looking good, and they know how to get you. So you better. Be mindful. You looking good to them. You the star. You is everything. Stand in your power. Know who you are. Make logical choices. Don't be confused. Don't be emotional right now. Make a logical choice. Okay? With the three of swords. That's all it's gonna this all this person is good for. Having you with all their burdens coming in, lying and and deceiving. Sex is the is a bad issue for them because they immature in the mindset of it. And they're not, you know, on your level financially anymore anyway. So they just coming in to hurt your heart and do what they usually do. And it's like you're holding back. You're like understanding, like you you know who you are. Like get back. I'm ready to close this out. I don't want this. I'm tired of being manipulated and snaked by you. Okay, so you holding him back and you, you know, I ain't giving this person no more money. And you're like, you know, stacking your bread and moving forward. You looking for somebody else. I'm looking for. Them. I'm looking for them with the nine of wands here. You're guarding yourself. You're like, back up, buddy. <laughs> you like, back up, buddy. I don't have time for this. I'm not giving you another dime, another dollar, another time, another energy. I'm tired of you and your sneaky ways. You don't trust your person. Your person could have you in a third-party situation. They, this is what they do. They're immature. They're, they're about sex. They're about themselves. They can be, you know, you could be dealing with a narcissistic energy. You know how they coming through. Because why would they continue to put you through this knowing that they're not mature enough? Go on about your business. Come back when you're ready. Damn. I'm feeling y'all energy. Look at that. The nine of swords. Like, you stressing me out. I ain't got time for this. This all this person do come in lying and, and deceiving and, and, and playing mad games with you. Keeping you stressed out so that you want to shine bright like the diamond who you are. They see the diamond. You just got to see it. You the star. Okay? Look at that. Seven of swords. Deception, deception, deception. And they the, the first card out, they coming in with deception. Trying to tell you how they feel. They lying. They always doing something behind your back. They got you in a third party situation. They play mind games with you. You don't deserve this. With the four wands, it's like you deserve peace. And this is what you need to make. This is why you confused because you need to make a choice about your peace of mind. 
you won't get it if you continue to allow this person to come in thinking they manipulating you. You ain't new to this. You grew to this. And it's, it's time for you to let them know. Actions speak louder than words. And you better show them. You ain't got to say nothing else to them because it's like all of this low vibrational energy is for the birds. It's too much going on here. Queen of Wands, get back to yourself. This person is coming in because it's like this person um, is going to try to allure you with sex. You know, they got a lot of secrets that they dealing with too. They know that you have, they been, you've been wanting them to step it up, but they ain't got time to do it. They ain't got time to do it. It's too hard for them, but they want you to keep on being patient, waiting around for them. You like, no, no, no. I want my happiness. I want some real stuff. I want something emotional like me. I want somebody that care and don't lie all the time. I want somebody that I can trust and be happy with and they got my back and I got theirs. I want a family. It's like, you know, I want my family to be at peace. I don't want to keep working it out with you. I'm ready to let it go. So this is you trusting God so a spirit on this on this leap of faith that you wanting to do, but you got to get up out of your head first. Get up out of your head and make a choice and a decision about what you're gonna do, Pisces, because here go your person. You could be um, dealing with you could be meeting another um, water sign. Okay, Scorpio, uh, another Pisces or Cancer. Okay, you got to get up out of this stuck energy. Okay, your person can be too controlling. Your person controlling. That's why, you know, you all, it's just a mess dealing with it. Feeling sad and abandoned. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just, you got to walk away from this with the three of wands. You got to reach for your true happiness, peace of mind, harmony within your person, harmony within your household. Harmony within your your um, mental. But it ain't that connection ain't there no more. All right, so Pisces, I'm going to give you an oracle card to sum this up. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. You have a new start is coming. Yay! A new start is coming. But work on yourself, build yourself up, and keep on moving towards your true happiness. You got the Ten of Cups. This is all the emotional contentment you can desire. You have the Ace of Pentacles. This is money, 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 money. Money is all of that. The money is rolling in real good. What else you got? You got many more. The King of Pentacles here. You got the Four of um, Wands here. You just got to get up out of the confusion. Use logical emotions. Put them emotions aside for a minute and make logical choices. Okay, I'm going to give you a love oracle to sum this up. Hey, Frank. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You know, once you close one door, another door will open. And this is new love coming in, and it's going to feel good to where you're going to, you know, get married. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Okay? So, it's like, let go of that old thing. That, 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 that's for the birds. Let the birds munch on that. You got some new things that's coming your way. Okay? You got some new things that's coming your way. All right. So this was your reading. If you got if this um, reading resonated with any of you, please put a comment down below. I appreciate it greatly. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And um, you can follow me on TikTok at Empress Energy and on Instagram at Empress Energies too. Okay. Um, I love you guys. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And Peace out.